Welcome. This video will show how you can utilize GTS, Global Trade Services and S4 HANA Transportation Management in a scenario with international and intermodal export sales, with integrated sanctioned party list screening and electronic customs filing. Before we start, we will highlight some of the benefits of intermodal export sales with integrated SPL and electronic customs filing. You can secure mandated sanctioned party list screening before shipping to the customer. You can streamline the logistics through the automated and integrated filing of customs declarations. And finally, you can provide real-time end-to-end visibility, both from a legal and a logistical point of view. In this video, we spend time across S4 HANA sales and distribution, transportation management in S4 HANA, and SAP Global Trade Services. Our journey starts in sales and distribution by creating one sales order, an export sales order from our DC in the US to a customer in Germany. The order is instantly available in transportation management, and we pick it up from there. The sales order is screened against sanctioned party lists and gets blocked in GTS and TM. We release the blocks and continue by triggering the creation of the outbound delivery from the transportation cockpit. The pre-carriage from the DC to the harbor then gets blocked due to the need for an export declaration. So we use GTS to file one. We end our demo by having a brief look at the track and trace capabilities provided in TM, as well as the freight costing and settlement capabilities. We kick off everything by creating the export sales order, with a requested delivery date 8 weeks into the future. A freight unit is generated based on the sales order and becomes available in the freight unit overview list in the upper left corner. By clicking on the order reference, we open up the sales order and see the connection between the two objects in the process flow overview. Back in the cockpit, we open the freight unit. We can see that the goods are to be packed in a 20-foot container. At some point, we need to enter the container ID, and we do it right away. In TM, you can either work with proposals or let the optimizer find the best option given the constraints for each delivery. In the proposal list, we get a ranked overview of all options, with information about each stage, cost, and toll for each combination. Instead of choosing one of the proposals, we cancel, go back and run the optimizer instead. Since the freight unit will need multiple freight stages to reach its destination, the optimizer splits the freight unit in three and creates in total three freight orders, visible in the freight order overview to the right. Thus, we have one freight order for the pre-carriage from our DC to Long Beach, one for the main carriage by ocean from Long Beach to Hamburg and finally, one for the on-carriage from Hamburg to the customer's location. In the overview, we can see that the freight orders have a red status flag. We open them one by one and see that they have an execution block due to a failed compliance check. We have a match in the sanctioned party list screening in GTS, and therefore all three freight orders are blocked for further execution. For someone observing this from the sales order view in S4 HANA, it becomes visible in the process flow that the freight unit is now linked to three freight orders. However, the transportation is blocked due to a failure in the compliance check. It's time for us to turn to the SPL screening, release block documents app in GTS. To limit the search result, we carefully add the three freight order numbers as search criteria. The result overview shows that the three freight orders have several hits in the sanctioned party list screening. In real life, a careful review is required. Since this is just a system test, we can quickly move on by marking all lines before releasing them by pressing the green flag. Before we are complete, we need to indicate a reason for the release and a brief comment. If we return to the sales order view in S4 HANA, we can see that the order is good to go, with no more blocking due to failed compliance checks. With a quick refresh of the list view in the transportation cockpit, the red dots disappear, and we are all green. From the overview, we open the freight ocean booking and trigger the creation of outbound delivery documents from here. A refreshed view of the transportation cockpit shows that the freight order for the pre-carriage from the DC to Palm Beach is blocked. We open the freight order and see that a custom declaration check is required. Looking again at the sales order and process flow view, we see the block on one of the freight orders with a brief description of the reason. On the blocked freight order, 
we set the execution status to not ready for transportation execution before jumping to the customs tab. Then, on the customs tab, we choose the EXP EU customs activity and press build customs group. We then select the newly created item group below and trigger the creation of the customs declaration. Before we look at it in GTS, we save the freight order. We open the Display Outbound Activities app in GTS. We make a quick search selection and can see the newly created declaration in the overview. We open the declaration, and since it has a red sign for incompleteness, we press the Check Messages button. In the section to the left, we can see two missing information elements. We click on them, one by one, and supply the missing information that we could not automatically extract from the sales and freight order. On the Communication tab of the Export Declaration, we can see several documents created by GTS and Customs Authorities require that. So we open them one by one, and very quickly, just to have a sneak peek and get an impression. We then manually trigger the sending of the Export Declarations to the Customs Authorities. Within a short time, we will get their response. With the Display Customs Declarations app, we can monitor any export declaration. We open the one we just sent, and it is now complete. To send information back to TM, we press Change Customs Declaration, go to Menu, before choosing Document and then Release. Back on the freight order, we can see that the block is gone. So we are ready to ship. A last look at the sales order and the process flows also confirms this fact. We can declare success. Mission accomplished. After successful completion of the customs procedure, we would like to remind you that we also provide extensive milestone tracking for shipments in TM. A topic we have covered extensively in other videos. The same goes for freight costing and settlement. TM supports the calculation of detailed freight costs for each single transportation stage comprehensively. By utilizing the freight settlement document, we can reflect this properly in finance and use the information also for automatic freight invoice verification. This is also covered extensively in some of our other videos. Please visit our YouTube channel for more details. The functionality shown in this video is available with SAP Global Trade Services and S4 HANA Transportation Management connected to S4 HANA Enterprise Management or SAP ERP. Let us do a quick recap of the benefits of intermodal export sales with integrated SPL and electronic customs filing. You can secure mandated sanctioned party list screening before shipping to the customer. You can streamline the logistics through the automated and integrated filing of customs declarations. And finally, you can provide real-time end-to-end visibility, both from a legal and a logistical point of view. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this are coming shortly. See you then.